Greetings everyone, I'm Shefan and welcome back to Hardcore Rim World. This is the hole in the mountain that we call our home, and the map is scattered with blood. Everything is just fine. Plan for today is going to be to research all the way up to machining, get ourselves a loading bench, and get a second colonist. That way we can start facing off against Igor the Invader. Uh, but before we get a second colonist, we have some stuff that we need to do. First and foremost, we need a prison. And uh, this beautiful ostrich in the middle of a, of a rocky stone floor seems like the perfect place for it. We also need to place down the battery that we got earlier. And also probably make some uh, more sturdy defenses than just this. Uh, ideally, we want embrasures. If we can't get embrasures, uh, the stones will do. Although the range on this shotgun uh, that stone is carrying is quite pathetic so uh either way we're gonna have to engage our opponents in a very asymmetrical manner to be able to actually take them out for now though we're just gonna be dealing with the regular power outages for now though we seem pretty good on food and uh the two yaks are gonna last for quite a while all right we got our battery up and running and the prison cell is coming along nicely you know i think i'll leave this ostrich to keep company for whatever prisoner uh, happens to come across us. Well, looks like, uh, looks like Igor doesn't like our prison, and he's sending a psychic drone. But we should be able to just sit through this uh, just fine. Our only real issues are the chemical starvation, the not-so-pretty environment in our lab, and uh, the fact that it's pretty hot in here, which we're going to remedy right now. We also got ourselves an actual butcher stable, and we can see that we have 248 units of yak meat remaining. That should be good for the time being. Ooh, rare thumbos. Now, normally I would make every possible effort to go and hunt them, but uh, with our current weaponry, we literally don't have the means to penetrate their armor. Uh, in combat extended, armor works as basically an armored plate, so... The armor of the Thrumbo is equivalent to about 14 millimeters of uh, basically tank armor. Uh, a Thrumbo is as armored as a tank, and we need special rounds to be able to even penetrate them. Unfortunately, we don't have any such ammo, and our buckshot is going to do absolutely nothing to these magnificent beasts. And now, the research begins. Stone is literally just going to stand here for the next two weeks and uh, hammer out all the research. Hopefully we get some travelers or guests visiting our uh, humble abode. We can, you know, shoot them and take their stuff. Slash, take them prisoner. Oh no, we have a mad iguana. Paper beats rock, and gun beats lizard. We got a tasty new meal here. Now when it comes to getting people, there is also the potential of cracking open this, uh, <laughs> this ancient structure. Not a very good idea, but a possibility. Maybe we can... Hmm. What if we replace one of the walls with an embrasure? What happens then? You know, if we don't get any prisoners, I think I'll give it a shot. Ooh. What do we have here? At the Hopeless. A desperate refugee. Huh? So we can get a refugee for 20 days... And potentially they can join us. I don't know if refugees count towards us having two colonists. But if she's armed with a weapon, that could be good. Essentially we can just wait out the six days, get the loading bench, and uh, just accept it at a later date. Let's do that. Alright, we finished machining and we actually have visitors. Let's see here. We got a group of visitors, and they have something to trade. Uh, usually with these people, whatever is in the inventory of the trader is what they're actually trading. In our case, we can get some medicine, which is very important. Uh, currently, if we get an infection, we are basically done for. But if we have some backup medicine, that could help out significantly. Alright, that looks good. Just keep the medicine on stone. That way, if he does get hurt, he can patch himself up real quick. Otherwise, since we don't have any big threat coming up, and I don't know if the extra uh, refugee will count, I will research the Lee Enfield, get one of those rifles going, 
and uh, have it as a backup just in case the raids start going and uh, we're in a bad spot. Spaceship chunks. Awesome. I will keep those for later. Now we do have enough components to get our machining table and loading bench going. And uh, it's time to make some ammo. We might as well use the revolver as a shotgun. And we'll make some shotgun ammo for that. We still have two days before accepting cats, so we'll be able to crank out gunsmithing in this time. And uh, by the way, cat, if she's good, she's not gonna leave as a refugee. Uh, she's either gonna be exiled from the colony immediately, or she's gonna be staying for a very, very long time. And now we are joined by our precious guest, Cat. A 55 year old uh, escaped convict. Alright, well, at least you're pretty quick on your feet, but otherwise, you're basically useless, aren't you? Now, I have a feeling this is gonna begin the trial of combat, so I'll let the fun begin. Alright. I wonder how long till our first raid. Yep. Yep, Cat's arrival did trigger it. A group of pirates from the Deadly Army. Doesn't look like a group to me. A torturer has arrived to cause us pain. But you don't like getting shot at. <laughs> you don't have to come here. Yeah, this guy is absolutely useless. Although we will take his silver. And as a reward, we got an emu. As a pet. Awesome. Uh, spare food, <laughs> I guess. And we're also going to be able to use it in combat. If it comes down to it. Ooh. Got our first royalty quest available. The Deserter. Now, normally you get a quest to, you know, fend off a hamster chasing a psychaster or something. But we're immediately jumping to the Deserter quest, huh? This is very tempting. Uh, if we get a trooper, we can get very, very good gear early on. The only issue is, if the Empire is hostile to us, that's going to cause a load of issues. Now, normally in the base game, being hostile with the Empire isn't too bad. But in combat extended, if a cataphract shows up, you're basically dealing with a medium tank. Cataphracts have something around 30 millimeters of rolled homogenous armor. Basically a World War II medium tank. So let's not deal with that. Let's just put that away and let's not even think about it. For the time being though, I do want to start growing some crops. Uh, we're probably going to want to move over to this side of the mountain and start planting crops over here. With our difficulty settings, we definitely want to be in the center of the map so that there's ample time for enemies to uh, come around and actually get us. Like if a raid shows up right here, and we don't have a lot of time to respond, we could get screwed over very, very quickly. In the meantime, we'll want to get some more advanced guns, so let's continue researching that. And once we're actually properly armed, uh, these raids won't be as much of a threat to us. Although, 500% threat may say otherwise. Alright, we got our second rifle, and even though Cat is a horrible shot, now we can get her equipped. You know, we'll even be so kind to Cat as to make her some tribal wear, because because she was getting quite annoyed at wearing this uh, very ratty cloth uniform. And we got another raid. Stone was hunting the gazelles. Oh, this guy's quite equipped. On the one hand, sir, I want your SVD. On the other hand, this man is probably the spookiest we have met so far. We're gonna have to engage this man from a very close distance. Uh, if I can... Move over, cat. Let the Taurus judge do the talking. Alright, he lit our... Windmill ablaze, and now... <laughs> there we go. This is how you do it. Left eye, shot out, liver... You know, <laughs> I guess the spread is that bad on the shotgun. Uh, but in any case, we got ourselves a very good rifle. And this guy might be worth recruiting. Uh, you know what? Change of plans, you're getting stripped. You're not very good at combat. 
anyways. All right, cool. That's our first serious raid dealt with, and we had an SVD. Uh, what this SVD allows us to do is sneak up on enemies and shoot them from a very long range. Uh, 75 is very good. Uh, just to put it into perspective, the Taurus Judge has 12, and the Lee Enfield has 55. We could counter Siegers at this point, which is amazing. He even brought some very good ammo, high explosive. We'll still keep the Taurus Judge as a backup weapon, but for now, Stone has an upgrade. And for that, we got a Psychic Soothe. Alright, so far it's not that bad. Uh, but at the same time, we've barely even begun. Our wealth is starting to go up, partly because of the gazelles, and partly because uh, killing people and taking their stuff does raise your wealth. So that is going to be a serious problem. We're going to have to get an incinerator going very, very quickly uh, to make sure we can counter all that wealth gain by just burning it all. Alright, this is going to be our brand new stockpile, and we're going to need to get some defenses going along here. Ideally, I want a box here, and to block off this area. Alright, now I don't know if this is going to work as a defensive structure, uh, but in theory, this sort of design would allow us to uh, shoot north with cover from the other side, so that uh, our people aren't just gunned down in the middle of our bunker. Wave for Rorifa. Get some honor and glitter world medicine. We have a heat wave. Now a heat wave would be very bad, but our fridge should be insulated enough. Um, the rest of our base is probably not going to fare too well, but uh, you know, if it's too hot, too bad, right? All right, there we go. Got some glitter world medicine. Generally, Glitter World Medicine is amazing to have, uh, because in case something goes really, really wrong and uh, there's an infection getting out of hand, Glitter World Medicine is basically guaranteed to fix it. What a shame. Deadly Army is attacking once more. This time, this man has, uh, this woman has a wooden hatchet, so be very, very afraid. Oh, look at that. She has a smoke leaf joint. Awesome. Uh, Stone is going to be very happy about that. But then you like, she'll actually just fall over. Oh, uh, betrayal. Welp, looks like Cat wasn't so hopeless after all. You're getting shot, buddy. Don't get into cover. Just accept. Oh no, she's going to shoot back, isn't she? Bleeding out in 13 hours. Uh, cat, if you really want to attack, you should come at me. Alright. <laughs> you chose your fate. You chose your fate. That was a damn nice piece of tribal wear that you just wasted right there. SMH. Alright, well... Uh, can I not... Alright, looks like the rifle's bugged. <laughs> Whatever. Looks like we shot her too hard. The rifle broke. Now let's see how our guest is doing. Initial heat stroke. I don't think she's gonna fall over dead, but... Uh, we don't have to worry about her just yet. Overall, in this series, we're gonna have to not worry about raids until they're right at our doorstep. Because if we're worrying about raids all the time, and uh, having our colonists drafted, uh, that is a waste of time. Now, in these circumstances, when the raid is so minor, drafting everyone up is certainly a waste. And poor Lou is not gonna make it. Now, I do have to thank Lou. Unlike Kat, she actually brought something to this world. That something uh, being a smoke leaf joint, so that Stone could finally be happy. Yeah, we're gonna need to get our own smoke leaf production up and running quite quickly. But this is quite nice. Uh, right now though, because of Cat's betrayal, we are going to be forced in a weird situation where we're back to not having raids because we're back to one colonist, even though this one colonist is an absolute beast of a man. 
I would rather not be in this state, so instead we're going to try some uh, more desperate measures. Specifically involving ancients. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and next time, we'll be popping in to see what is inside this ancient tomb. I'm sure whatever it is, Stone can handle it. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, and bye-bye.